Here, let me show you the floor. Hey, what's up, you guys? Shardimus Prime here doing another Marvel Select figure review on the long anticipated Marvel Select Carnage. Finally, it's here. I'm very, very excited for this. If you're trying to pick one up, you can't get a big, bad toy store. big, big, big. Get your big, badass toys at bigbadtoystore.com. Click the link in the description below. Standard Marvel Select packaging over here. We got a lot of red going on. Cool image of Carnage right over there. Cool image of Carnage right over there. And then on the back, you can see how you could interchange the three heads. And you see Zombie Magneto cable. And there's this long read up. If you want to read it, go ahead and pause it now. Anyway, let's get to it and crack this thing open. And here's Marvel Select Carnage out of the packaging. Just looking absolutely amazing. If you're a fan of this character, you will love this figure. I I'm just gushing over this thing. Now, there are a couple of tiny gripes I have with this. Very, very minor gripes. But for the most part, this is an astounding figure. I absolutely love the paint sculpt. He has great articulation and he comes with some awesome, truly awesome accessories. Let's take a closer look at the accessories and then we'll take a closer look at Carnage. Now Carnage comes with nine different interchangeable tendrils. I love these five over here. These four I'm not a huge fan of. They don't have bendy wire in them and they just shoot straight out. But these two right here and these two right here are sculpted similarly to each other so you get a pair of each of these. And then these are all individually sculpted uniquely which is really cool. I like these ones the most actually. And to get a close look at the details on these, man I just love the way these are sculpted. The paint, everything is just so cool about them. Even with one of these straight ones right here. And I wish they had a port for this little peg right over here for the back of the hand so it looks like he's kind of shooting his symbiote webbing you know but you can kind of wedge it in there and I don't know well, let's see it's kind of tricky but yeah I think that looks pretty cool like he's shooting his web I really like how the ports on Carnage's back and everything are kind of hidden you know I think that looks pretty cool so you get one two three and then you get a fourth hole right over there another hole right there and then another hole right there and then the last hole is right so plugging these in, they do stay in pretty well. You shake it, it's not going to fall out. I think that's really cool. And you can articulate them, you know. You could have them facing upside down or whichever way you want, you know. So that's really cool. You can have it kind of facing outward like that a little bit. I think they look cooler facing up, though, you know. So Carnage comes with two sets of interchangeable hands, which are freaking sick, by the way. You get these regular hands that have spikes coming out of them, which are really, really cool. I'm digging these a lot. And he's got this sickle, which is my favorite weapon that Carnage uses. I really like this a lot. And you get this blade that kind of just spikes out over here. These are all detailed very nicely. I love how this is not just a solid black color. You get that maroonish, brownish color going over the black on these. These just look really, really badass. I'm very, very happy with the way these look. And the hands are very cool too. Damn, I love all those sculpted details in there. Just looks so sick. I love how you can see the symbiote goop running around over here. Same thing with this hand over here. This is just, oh man. And interchanging these and plugging them in is not very difficult at all. They just snap right in there. I feel like the hands are a little on the loose side, but it doesn't really bother me one bit because it just makes it a little bit easier to detach these and reapply them. You can put the ax right in there. Oh, yeah. It takes a little bit of might, but not too bad. So the figure has three different head sculpts. This is the Cletus Cassidy head sculpt with the symbiote wrapping around his face. And I just think this is great. I love the sculpting coming around here. I really like that you can see the symbiote goop kind of reaching around over the top of the head and spreading around. These are not detachable or anything like that. And I really like the flesh tone too. He kind of looks like a weird gray palish kind of color. Perfect for a psychopath. And I really like the attention to detail for the mouth, the teeth, the eyes look great over here. I did notice that the eyebrows were more of an orange color on the prototype though. This is more of the same color as the carnage red. So that's supposed to be more of a ginger color, but not a big deal. And here's a classic Carnage head sculpt or the Mark Bagley head sculpt, which is my favorite out of the three. This is the Carnage I am most familiar with. I just love the way this came out, man. It's just looking too sick over here. It's kind of tricky to pick up on the camera, but they did use a pearlescent white paint right there for those eye sections. Now, I can't pinpoint exactly where this head sculpt is referenced from, but it reminds me of Clayton Crane's artwork. Some people are calling this the ultimate Carnage head sculpt or the modern Carnage head sculpt. I don't know. I like how you can see how the eyepieces wrap all the way in the back over there. This also has that pearlescent white paint. I really like that, that you can see the pink paint right there on the inside of the mouth. This is still a really well made head sculpt over here. It's just not my favorite out of the three. Now I did have a problem interchanging the head sculpt on this one because it would catch the pin with it, you know, but I did shave this down a little bit with an X-Acto knife and now it doesn't do that anymore. The other two head sculpts I didn't have any problems interchanging at all. Now I really like the paint sculpt on this figure. As I mentioned earlier, I just think it came out great, man. I like how you can see all these little sculpted lines kind of looking like muscle tissue through and through over here. Just the symbiotic goop all over it just looks really, 
really cool. I think the different sections of the figure match up pretty well over here. Just a really good looking piece, man. I just really like it. The figure does have pickles at the bottom of its feet. And I like how his legs are kind of on the lanky side too. You know, Cletus Cassidy kind of has that lankier kind of look as opposed to Venom who's a lot more bulky. Again, it looks like muscle tissue right over there on the calves. So we get some great articulation on this figure. He can look up a reasonable amount. It looks down, side to side head movement, and we do get some neck pivot. Shoulders move outward that much. You can rotate them forward. Bicep swivel, single jointed elbow that does bend in at 90 degrees. You get a wrist swivel over here, and the hands hinge up and down. You get this really interesting diaphragm joint over here that has a bit of a gap, which kind of looks weird, but it doesn't bother me so much because he crunches forward very far and moves back very far as well. Rotate side to side at the diaphragm, and you get some pivot over there as well. It's a little on the loose side. Whoa, that's a shaky carnage. Anyway, you get a waist swivel over here. You get these hip joints that move outward. You can get him to kick forward. He doesn't really go back too much. He has an above the knee swivel over here. Double jointed knees that bend all the way in. Ankles move down. They move up a little bit. And he does have ankle pivot. So this is a seven inch scale figure and Carnage stands at about eight and a half inches tall. Here's Select Carnage compared to a couple other Carnage figures. We have the Toy Biz Legends Carnage and then the Hasbro Marvel Legends Carnage over here. I think this is a great Marvel Legends figure, but I will say I think this is the ultimate Carnage figure. Then here's Select Carnage compared to a couple of Select Spider-Man figures. We have the Amazing Spider-Man 2 Spider-Man and then the comic version of Spider-Man over here. And I feel like Carnage is a bit too tall. I don't think he should tower over Spider-Man like this. And here's Carnage next to Papa over here. We have the Marvel Select Venom. And yeah, that's the biggest downside to this figure is the scaling. Carnage should definitely be shorter than Venom and it's the other way around over here. And then here he is next to the Marvel Legends Big Time Letdown Spider-Man. So the biggest problem with this figure is that it is out of scale. But other than that, this is simply amazing. I absolutely love this piece, man. I think this is the best Carnage figure ever made, especially as a standalone. The fun factor is through the roof. I mean, it's just a great piece. And I have been able to get this guy posed with some Marvel Legends if I'm able to angle my camera right. It can look pretty cool and it looks like he's in scale. So, you know, if you're creative with it, you'll get some cool pictures out of this guy. Anyway, hope you guys liked my video. If you did, please hit that like button, hit the subscribe button right over there. Check out my last two reviews right over here. And make sure you go to MarvelousNews.com for a photo gallery of images from this review. I'll catch you guys later. Peace. possible to get this guy taken pick ah god damn why do I keep